victims of the violence perpetrated by former Congolese Vice President Jean-Pierre Bemba's militia are sharing their reaction on Wednesday. They say his acquittal is a severe blow to the people killed or harmed in the Central African Republic. Judges at the International Criminal Court ordered Bemba's release on Tuesday. Central African Republic's victims of the militia of former Congolese Vice President Jean-Pierre Bemba reacted Tuesday to the reversal of his war crimes conviction. Eric Yamasamba lost his younger brother in 2002 when his farm was looted by Bemba's militia. For me, Bemba's acquittal is tragic. It's really, really disheartening. It's a real loss. Bemba committed various crimes. He killed, looted and plundered from us. These crimes have been happening in Central African Republic for decades, and we are still suffering. Bemba's acquittal is humiliating to us. We feel humiliated by the international community. International justice has failed us. Bemba was convicted in 2016 of war crimes and crimes against humanity and sentenced to 18 years in prison after militia he commanded committed mass murder and rape in neighboring Central African Republic. But that conviction was overturned on appeal on June the 8th in a major setback for prosecutors. Appeals judges say they could not pin responsibility on Bemba for crimes committed by soldiers under his command. Bemba's case was also the first that focuses on sexual violence as a weapon of war that was heard by the ICC. But his victims said they had been left without meaningful redress. My daughter was raped as she tried to flee with me, but Bemba's militia took her and raped her. I was horrified by it. I could go on about other crimes that were committed against my neighbors. We feel that Bemba's sentence should have been increased. He should have stayed in jail for the rest of his life. We were really surprised that he was released. As victims, we are really disappointed and frustrated by the decision that the International Criminal Court took. The 55-year-old will be handed over to neighboring Belgium, where his wife and five children live. Judges in The Hague ordered him not to make public statements about a second case in which he is accused of witness tampering. A hearing on his sentencing for witness tampering will be held on July the 4th. Bemba was the highest-ranking official among only four people who had successfully been prosecuted at the Permanent War Crimes Court since it was set up in 2002.